All right. Hey guys. So I think it's Thursday. I do believe it's Thursday. Um, and we just got word from the governor. We've got 17 more day and basically an extension at least till April 30th, which I was planning on anyway. So to me, it really wasn't much of a surprise, but I started thinking about it of today has kind of been a reflective day for me. I'm hoping you guys are being a little reflective in all of this thing, but here's what it is that I realized. And I'm pretty happy about it or maybe become reflective. I have loved these past couple days because I have heard from parents, your parents, just expressing gratitude and reaching out to see how my family was doing. I have heard from many of you guys, whether it is through text messaging, through Instagram, through emails, that you know, you got into a school or now you're trying, you've decided where you're going to school. For example, Anna Grounds going to MSU because she would always look bad in red so she couldn't choose IU. Or Eliza Guernsey who got into the Med Scholars Program and yes, I'm giving you props right here on that. Or Saba celebrating her birthday or Sebastian Liu sending me a message telling me that his family is safe and wondering how it is that I'm doing. I got an email from a couple of bio kids just telling me that they could not believe it, but they missed school. That is what it is I am grateful for. Um, I am grateful for the fact that, as you can see behind me, I have a treadmill that every morning uh, I can get on there and just talk to my mom every single day and see how it is that her day is going. Or the fact it is that I can make my kids come down here and do workouts in front of the TV with various uh, things that are online for them that they can go ahead and do and making them lift weights or helping my daughters might gain a little bit of weight. I'm thankful for the fact that I could drive to the store today to pick up my mom's groceries so that she does not have to leave the house. Um, I'm thankful for the fact that each day I'm getting in this stinking car with Isaiah so he can practice learning how to drive a stick shift. And there's nobody on the road, so I know we're safe. I'm thankful that they can go to the pond and feed geese and they're trying to make friends with them which is whatever but they're hoping that they can actually see the geese eggs hatch so there's a lot of thankfulness and I do want to say to all of you if there's big things going on in your life share it I would love to hear it from you if you're not sharing it with me share it with somebody because it's the little things that are big right now the little things have become the big things what we used to think was big isn't anymore. Um, it's those little things, those small triumphs that should be celebrated. So I have nothing to share with you other than that, that I am unbelievably thankful for all of you and unbelievably thankful for the time it is that we are getting to sort of decompress and evaluate what is important and what is not important in our lives. So there you go. Words of Wisdom by Tandak that do not include anything regarded to regarding the brain or science and so on. So today's book, I'm going to try to do this. This is doing this a different hand, so I'm not used to this, is called You Are All My Favorites. Yep, that's for you guys by Sam McBratney. Sam McBratney. So I apologize for this stupid table right there, but whatever. All right, so here we go. I can find it. Oh, I'll get up where I always do. Okay. There we go. All right. Once upon a time, there was a mother bear, a father bear, and three baby bears. Or in my world, 150 students. A first baby bear, a second baby bear, and a third baby bear. Whoever tucked them in at night always said the same thing to them. You are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world. One night, after Mommy Bear had tucked them in, and after she had said, you are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world, the baby bears began to wonder. But how do you know, they asked their Mommy Bear. How do you know we're the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world? Because your daddy told me, said Mommy Bear. When your daddy saw you on the night you were born, he said, and I remember it very well, he said, those are the nicest baby bears I have ever seen. 
They are the nicest baby bears anyone has ever seen. That was a good answer. The three baby bears snuggled down as content as could be. But one day, the first baby bear began to think. He wondered if the other two bears were nicer than he was. They had patches after all, and he did not. Maybe his mommy really liked patches. Oh my gosh, I can't turn pages. And the second baby bear began to wonder. Maybe daddy loves the other two more than me, she thought. They were boy bears after all, and she was not. And the third baby bear began to wonder. I'm the littlest, he thought. Everybody's bigger than me. So that night, the three baby bears asked their daddy bear, which one of us do you like the most? Who is your favorite? We can't all be the best. Yes, you can, said daddy bear. I know you can because I heard your mommy say so. When she saw you, and Daddy Bear picked up the first baby bear to give him a cuddle. She said, that is the most perfect first baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even with no patches? Patches don't matter at all, replied his daddy, and he tucked him in. And when your mommy saw you, Daddy Bear picked up the second baby bear. She said, that is the most perfect second baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm not a boy... Girl or boy, it makes no difference, said her daddy, and he hugged her tight. And when your mommy saw you, Daddy Bear lifted the last baby bear into his arms. She said, that is the most perfect third baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm the littlest, bigly or littlely, we love you just the same. So there, three favorites. You're all my favorites. And the best baby bears in the whole wide world went to sleep as happily as could be because that was a good answer too. And that is the end. And here's what I will say. I got inspired. No matter what grades, athleticism, anything like that, each of you are incredibly special, not only to me, to your folks, to your friends, because each of you always has something amazing to give. So find what it is that you are grateful for, share it with everybody, reach out to those you care about, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night. Today was exercise day. I hope you got out there and fed your brain full of endorphins. All right, good night, everybody.